this is show number 59, which then again means it is a review show. So if by any chance you missed any of the shows this week, then on Thursdays and Fridays you get the review. You get them sooner than that because a lot of stations air uh, two 15-minute segments back-to-back. -back. So then in that case you get a double dose. So if your station doesn't do that and you want it, give them a call. Now we're going to start out on your back again. Knees are straight, stomach is tight, easing down. If your back is weak, you know, bend your knees. Easing down onto your back. And we're going to start working on the Achilles tendon and on your hamstring. So first, stomach tight, a pelvic tilt. Glide your right leg up. Push the heel away from your body. Push firmly. Tighten your kneecaps, tighten your quads, feel that in the calf, in the back of your heel, the Achilles tendon. Now push the toes away from you, but push rather firmly so that you definitely feel it at the front of your ankle. Push the heel up, push the toes forward, get deep into the front of the ankle, push up, the heel goes up, and now the toes go up, and again. The heel up and the toes up and lower. Relax. Stomach tight, pelvic tilt. Left leg up. Push the heel up. Push, push firmly, push firmly. All right, now the toe up. Push way, way up. Feel it at the front of your ankle. It's harder than you think, isn't it? Push the heel up, push, now get into the back of your heel, feel it in your hamstring, in your calf. Push the toe up, keep your stomach tight, push the heel up, push the toe up, and again, heel up, and toe up, and lower. Stomach tight, pelvic tilt, both legs up, push the heels up. Push the toes up, heels up, toes up, feel it in your quads, heels up, stomach tight, toes up, heels up, toes up, and ease your legs down, bend your knees if your back is weak. Relax completely. Surprising how much you use those stomach muscles, isn't it? Bend your knees, feet flat, arms up, interlock your thumbs, sit up, put the soles of your feet together, stretch just for a moment. Coming back up again, onto your knees for the forward facing dog pose. All runners should definitely do this. All athletes should definitely do this. Your arms out in front of you, palms flat, slowly straighten your knees. Push the heels of your feet into the floor. Now, slowly walk your hands away from your body. Take small steps because we're stretching your hamstrings, we're stretching your calves, but you need to keep your heels on the floor. Keep your heels on the floor. Stretch, bring your torso forward. Lift up your head. Walk your hands back. Walk your hands back. Bend your knees, sit on your heels, chin up, and again, arms out in front of you, slowly lift, push the heels of your feet into the floor, walk your hands away from you, keep the heels of your feet flat on the floor, lengthen, push forward, pick up your head, walk your hands back, Stretch deeply, bend your knees, sit on your heels, and ease down. Coming onto your hands and knees now, we're going to work on your hips, on the lower back, and on your outer thighs for a variation of the cat pose. Bring your right leg up, have your knee, your heel, and your hip in a straight line. We don't want this, we don't want this. You want to be in a straight line, so you have to pick your head back and take a look. Make sure that that heel is up. 
Breathe softly, feel it working, feel it working. And lower. Left leg up, knee, heel, hip in a straight line. Breathe softly. And lower. And again, leg up, knee, heel, hip in a straight line. Yeah, you just hold it, it gets pretty tough. And down, but it'll really give you some good firm hips and good strong hip joints. Up. And lower. One more time. Up. Heel up, knee up. Breathe softly. And lower. Left side up. Knee up, heel up. Lined up to the hip joint. And down. Sit on your heels. Fold forward. Stretch through the lower back. Stretch through your glutes. Relax completely. And then come back up into the upright position. And we're going to do forward bends. I love the rhythm of counter posturing. Working your body one way, then logically working it the other way. Separating your feet a comfortable distance apart. Rock slightly from side to side. Rotating your pelvis forward so you have more weight to the front part of your sitting bones. You do not want to be at the back part. You want to be over to the front part. Reach your hands over and hold on to your left foot, your calf, ankle, whatever your body will allow. And slowly fold forward. Pick up your head, bring your torso up. Now hold on to the balls of your feet, separating your feet a little bit more, rotating your pelvis forward, fold forward. And coming up, reaching over to the right ankle, calf, foot, whatever you can. Breathe softly, fold forward. Coming up, going over to the left. Bring your torso over your thigh. It is not a side stretch. It is a forward stretch. Fold forward. Coming up. Holding on to your feet. Get to the front part of your sitting bones. Get the weight on the upper back part of your thighs. Coming up. Coming over to the right. Stretch forward. Pick up your head. Come back up again. And over to the left. Take your time. Stretch. Coming up. Holding onto your feet. Rotate your pelvis forward. Stretch forward. Coming up, turning over the right side, stretch forward. Pick up your head, and one last time. Over, lifting up to the center, lifting up. To the right. Lifting up. And bend your knees, relax your hip jo joints for just a minute, and then separate your feet for the ankle turner. Bring your toes in as far in toward the floor as possible, and slowly toe out, way out to the side. Working into the hip joints, toe all the way in. Towing all the way out, all the way in, all the way out. Keep your stomach tight, all the way in, out, in, out, in, out, in. 
and out. Good. Now come up onto your knees and bring your arms overhead, interlacing your fingers. Stretch your head to the right, your hips to the left. Stretch through the torso. Keep your head lined up with your hips. Slowly come down and sit to the left side of your heels and stretch. Stretch through the rib cage. Lift up. Over to the left. Stretch deeply. Coming down. Keep your head lined up to your seat. Stretch deeply. And up. And going to the right. Now we'll do the variation. Stretching deeply. Easing down, easing down. Keep your head lined up to your seat. Stretch deeply. Then lift your torso and twist to the right. Chin over your right shoulder. Way over. Rotate forward. Come up. Use those quads. Stretch to the left. Ease down slowly. Sit to the right of your heels. Stretch deeply, lift up, twist to the left, way over, way over, and come back, up, arch to the right, hips to the left, ease down, stretch, lift up, Twist to the right, chin over your right shoulder, way over, come forward, hook up, arch to the left, hips to the right, keep your head lined up to your seat, come down slowly, use those thigh muscles, stretch to the left, lift up, twist to the left, chin over your left Shoulder, way over. Rotate. Back to the center. Come up. Sit on your heels. Relax your neck and shoulders. And slowly fold forward, going into the pose of the child to relax your lower back. See you next time. Bye. To purchase a copy of Fit and Nifty Over 50, Program 012-003, please call 1-800-553-7752 or write to the address on your screen.